hi guys welcome back to my channel happy new year this is my first video for the new year and it's an encouraging word uh, if you're new here my name is charity i do encouraging words and live lessons and you know um any if i get prophetic word, word i share it here i just pray that you are blessed by this um so today's word is definitely for the dreamers um I'm, I'm calling you a dreamer because what you have on your heart is definitely bigger than yourself. It's not something that can be accomplished in your capacity. You, you look around you and it's, it's too much. It's like, um, I'm likening this to Joseph. Joseph, who was labeled as the dreamer because he was the young one of the youngest of his fathers and he was dreaming of everyone bowing to him. And the most amazing thing about this is that it's a dream you know i don't know why they were beating him up for it because he god was putting this dream in his heart and he was getting told up for it anyway so some of us we might um find that we are you know labeled as restless you know in in ghana it's called opredodo you know I, i've certainly been told a few times that i'm a pre which is like you you can't sit in one place you know because there's this big thing on your heart a uh, big thing that you know deep down that you're supposed to be accomplishing so that makes you kind of stand out that makes you want to you know some of us think that we study more we find it there if we do more of this we find it there and um Certainly, I was going to use Joseph's story um, as an example of who your helper is, who is definitely the person who's going to make this dream come to pass. It's not you, because these desires and these big dreams are put on our hearts by God. And the Bible says that it's not by our might, it's not by our, our strength, but it's by the Spirit of God that this will all come to pass. Okay, Joseph, after his dreaming and everything, his brothers get really jealous of him and they sell him to slavery. They contemplate killing him but they sell him into slavery and even there he was put into this position and one key point that i wanted to that strike um i caught my attention when i was reading that was joseph was put was bought by this egyptian man and put into his house and he eventually gave him charge over everything in his house you know without the vibes he didn't even come back to ask him for account of it he just trusted him like that and um why um, I'm stopping there is because I wanted to mention that some of us dreamers, okay, when we, we think God wants us to do something big, we are so focused on, on that that we miss the, the, the now, we miss the present, we miss the everyday. So Joseph is in slavery, he must have thought this is over. But what he does is when he's when he's in this house, he puts his heart and his soul and the fear of God and everything into working for this man that he is favored you know and and the bible says that we should anything that our hand finds to do we should do it as though we're doing it for god some of us must have might have like I said, because you have that dream, you've gone to do the PhD, you've gone to do all the doctorates and everything, and 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 you find yourself with a job and you think, oh, this is not it. The dream is bigger than this, and we're not concentrating it. If you find yourself in positions where you think your qualifications beyond that, this is not quite the dream. You are, um, you might be missing a vital lesson point there, Joseph was definitely a now uh, person he had a fear of god in him which is which is so beautiful so he's working for this one with his heart and soul obviously his wife accuses him of rape and he gets thrown into prison by potiphar and 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 one of the things again that struck me here was that potiphar had such trust in this man but he throws him into prison in the moment of in the heat of the moment so if i was joseph in that time because i think you know potiphar was the person who was going to promote him in life was going to make his life he was eventually going to get him there um to where he has been dreaming um to be and Potiphar suddenly throws him into prison. So his, his world is almost crashed again because now he's thinking the only person who will take him out is Potiphar. Um, if I was in Joseph's shoe, I was thinking, I'll be thinking at this point, okay, he's in the heat of the moment. He definitely trusts me, but he's hungry. He might come back and get me. But you know, for the years that he spent in that prison, Potiphar definitely did not come back and get him. Okay, so we find him again in a prison setting. And here he's also in that moment, he's doing 
the now every job he's given he's doing so well that he's even put in charge of the prison i mean who does that who is in prison and gets put in charge of it and again the advice is the same wherever you find yourself do it as though you're doing it for god if you have to be a stay-at-home mom at the moment do it as though you're doing it for god do it with such delight if you have to take care of somebody's house and sometimes you're thinking oh i'm even more qualified than this person you are there for a reason you're there to learn there's a lesson to be learned in that place and therefore do it with the fear of god do it with honor do it with just respect for that place anyway Joseph is in this place and he definitely he comes across two people who have been thrown into jail by the Pharaoh they work for the Pharaoh and they have this dream and Joseph inter interpret it for him again there's a, it seems like a door is opening there the door is opening there don't we sometimes find that you know we, we, we get you know we get recognized by a manager or by somebody in in a higher position than us and we think oh this this might be the time that i get promoted he has seen that i do this really well maybe that in in this situation sometimes it is a disappointment anyway in joseph case he he helps he interprets this their dream they get out and exactly what he says happened yeah so the the, the bible specifically says in genesis chapter 40 and verse 20 i'm going to read 20 21 to 23 uh, it says that when um these are the two people that he has interpreted the dream he says then he restored the chief butler to his butlership again and placed the um, and he placed the cup in Pharaoh's hands. So basically Joseph has said to him, You will be restored back to your position. The second one he has said to him that you're going to get killed and 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 22 said but he hung the chief baker as joseph had interpreted 23 is what we're focusing on that says yes the chief butler did not remember joseph but forgot him so sometimes we've been in that place where we think this is the one that's promoting my life you know i i have he has definitely seen me some people will see the the, the you know the light in you and encourage you to move forward they're in position and 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 hopefully you're not working to please them because that's not what god is looking for as a christian god is looking for you to work to please him what you do when nobody's looking is i believe is the most important thing anyway the man forgets him so again the person the promoter has forgotten him so he's dreaming crash he gets on him with his life and eventually you know if you have time please read read i'll leave those verses on here it's, it's a really great story eventually the pharaoh had a dream and suddenly butler remembers him and brings him in and you know while i was reading this and while i was contemplating this what came into my mind was that at the time where joseph was interpreting the pharaoh's dream to him and the pharaoh was so fascinated by it i i got this impression that god at the time had open his eyes everything that everyone's supposed to see about joseph was suddenly played on this big screen as he's watching him he's seeing who god has ordained him to be and he puts him into this place of government you know one um going into prison for joseph i believe was like that was the the end of the big dream because think about prison you don't you don't just when you go into prison and you come out you have this reputation you have to almost start your life all over again and then you have a criminal record in your life so you're not you can't the, the, the prominent jobs the, the jobs that um joseph was thinking you know dreaming of was out of his you know out of his way now because nobody's gonna take you into those places with your criminal record but god <laughs> when he moves when he starts to move the protocols everything in place is, is nothing he lays it flat you know he makes mountains into 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 plain in he makes a way where there's no way it's like he he overrule overrise i i i can't I'm so excited by God right now that I can't even think of the right words to he definitely made a way that none of these things that should have disqualified him i mean first the, the biggest thing is he wasn't even a citizen of the country he he um 
there was probably much qualified people with, with the doctorates and things that could have been in that place but when god opens the eye of your helper then there's nothing that can hinder that i don't think the, the pharaoh was thinking of who he was at the time he was just seeing who god sees him to be so definitely i um, just wanted to encourage you at this time if you're feeling frustrated by your dream you think oh maybe i start a ministry some people start ministries and it dies and you want to start it again and and people say oh this man doesn't give up i think wherever you are the beauty is around you. See what God is asking you to learn from this. Certainly, when the time is up, he lifts you up. It's not about just sitting down and folding your arms and thinking, oh, and being frustrated and think the dream will come through at some point and you are almost resenting God. No, live in that moment. We're human beings for a reason. You be a human. Enjoy the moment. Do the job you've been paid to do with all diligence and gratefulness. Uh, and God, in his time, when he promotes you, it will not be anything like you have imagined. Sometimes I, I get excited just thinking about what God is planning. And, you know, I, I still, you know, don't get me wrong, I still have my days where, you know, but I definitely, um, I pray that you're definitely blessed by this word. God has a plan that is beyond anything that you have ever imagined, you have ever envisioned. Our dreams are small because they, 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 they is, we think of ourselves, we think of our abilities and our capacities and our, our, our degrees and things like that. But God has for you, there's nothing that can stop, disqualify you. I pray that you are blessed by this.